Now once you do have the internet connected, so you get the symbol up here, you can go into the Play Store, which is uh, Google's version for apps. So if you're if you're used to using like Apple like phones, it's the same as the App Store on, on Apple. So if you currently already have an account, um, it'll be the same account you use for like a Google, so you could have a Gmail account. Or on your phone, it'll be the same account you use on your phone to log into your phone if you have like, have like a Samsung. And if you've never used Gmail or a Google Samsung like a phone before, you can just go create an account. And you just head through here and type in what you want to create as your account. And you just go through all this information here. So when you've finished setting that up, you will be taken back to the <laughs> main screen here. So you can look for whatever apps you'd like to download. So a lot of people use Spotify for music. Spotify is a great app if you have the paid version because you can actually download the music for offline listening. So you can download it onto the storage, onto the head unit here. And what that means, you can always have your music available, even when you're in the middle of nowhere, which is a good option. So it goes through here and says installing. And then it says installed and you can click open here or if you want to see where it goes it goes just go it's going to go into your app area here so that's right here spotify you just need to log in if you have an account or if you don't you can uh, get an account i think it costs around i think a paid versions 15 dollars a month or so and that's pretty good because it gives you all the music you could ever want So that shows you how to, how to download apps. Obviously you can also go other uh, popular ones like you might want in an offline like 4x4 maps, etc, etc. Our head unit has its own GPS, so that's very handy.